Hi, welcome to the third tutorial on solar. This is an important tutorial where I'm trying to demonstrate how you can post JSON data to solar and request solar to index those JSON data. This tutorial is not to talk about JSON that much, but you need to have some very basics to start with. I recommend to take a look at the documentations on www.json.org to get started. Well, for this tutorial, you have to know what JSON is and what are the two data structures that JSON is built on. Well, JSON is called JavaScript Object Notation and it's a lightweight data interchange format. It's kind of XML. So, XML is also a data interchange format if you're trying to interchange the format of your data from one machine to another running different operating systems or different programming languages in that case JSON or XML they come handy well JSON is built onto two data structures the first one is a collection of name and value pairs in various languages like Java and C this is realized as an object record, struct, dictionary, hash table, keyed list or associative array. The other, other data structure that JSON is built on is called an ordered list of values kind of array. In most languages this is realized as an array, vector, list or sequence. Well, if you want to take a look at it graphically then this is, this is a JSON object that that starts with a curly brace and ends with a curly brace and inside that those two curly braces you have a string column value and this string column value can appear multiple times separated by a comma and an array in JSON it starts with a square bracket and ends with a square bracket and inside the array those two square brackets you have values and these values can be multiple can appear multiple times separated by commas now this is an interesting thing just like any programming languages if you have an array of values those values can be strings numbers even objects or even the array can contain another array or boolean values like true and false and also it can be an empty array having null value so as we have this starting or basics about JSON, then we can move forward to see how we can post JSON data to Solar and request Solar to index those data. So to start with, we are going to send a query using curl or curl command. If you are not familiar with curl command, then you can go back to our tutorial too, where we have downloaded and installed curl in our system. Well, in this curl command, we are actually sending uh, an URL, and that URL is consisting the local host and 8983 port that Solar is using. And also, when we are sending this command to Solar, we are saying that the content type we are sending to it is an application, JSON application to be specific. Now, in this command, you can see that we are actually sending an array. How do you know that? Well, just a few minutes before I have said that an array in JSON is represented by square brackets and inside square brackets you can have an object so this is an object and how do you know this is an object well you can see that this portion this segment is actually started with a curly brace and ended with a curly brace and inside of it you have a key and value pair which is separated by a column and you have multiple key and value pairs that are separated by commas. So in this command of curl, actually we are sending a JSON data. That data is an array. And that array is consisted of an object. That object contains multiple numbers of key and value pairs. If you take a look at this data, then you can see that it is actually and information about a book which has the ID book 1. It has a title and it has an author. So what happens if we just copy this command and paste it in our command line interface? So before doing that, 
make sure that your solar is up and running so if you do not know how to run solar then you can go back to our tutorial one where we have shown how to install and run solar in your machine so now that our solar instance is running it's always a good practice to take a look at whether the solar is running really or not so it's still not running still not running okay now it should run so you can see now we have our user interface to solar so the solar is running as the solar is running we can put this command on our command line interface and press enter what happens well in this example we have used curl and we have sent adjacent data to solar and asked asked solar to index these particular JSON data now to see whether our data has been indexed by solar or not in the command line interface you can you can write down this command in this command again we are using CUR, CURL to give us the content in this particular URL we are sending to solar now to solar we have sent a get request what we are getting here is something some data or some information where ID is equal to book one so if you press enter at this point you can see that these are the information related to your book one that you have just posted and asked or requested solar to index them so again we did not post or index anything which has the ID book 2 so if you attempt to get something with the ID equal to book 2 from solar solar will give you a null document because it doesn't have or doesn't contain or doesn't index any data JSON data or any other data that has the ID equal to book 2 now you can check the similar thing by just copying this portion from your CURL or curl command so you copy that and you go to your browser you open a new tab and in that tab you just paste that remember we have posted book 1 so we are going to post book 1 here and you can see that you are getting the same information you've got on your terminal so you can verify these two information here that they are exactly the same information so now you can see that what curl is doing for you without using the browser by just using curl on your command line you're actually getting what's inside in this particular URL that you have posted with curl similarly if you try to see what's in book 2 which is not actually indexed by solar yet because we did not provide anything which is which has ID equal to book 2 and you can see that solar is returning us a null document now it's kind of similar to SQL command where you are in where you can insert any data item in your table what about update well in order to update we can take a look at this curl statement in this curl statement again we are asking solar to update something and we are saying that the content we are trying to provide is an application JSON application to be specific now in this case again we are sending an array that consists of an object that object contains multiple key value pairs but in this case we are saying okay modify the entry that contains ID equal to book 1 and we are saying what to modify here we are inserting three more data to that particular data of I book 1 now in this case the three new data are category the publication year and ISBN number so now again we just copy this statement and paste it first we have to clear the command line interface and paste that particular command here and press enter again what happened to see the effect 
you have to issue the command to see what see the data that has the ID equal to book one. So again, we are issuing the command that we have issued a couple of minutes earlier. And in this case, if you press enter, you can see that your ID title and author are the same as before. But now you have three more categories. The new key categories you have entered is category, publication year, and ISBN number. In a similar way, if you go to your browser and post that query, you get the same result. So this is how actually you can send or post JSON data to Solar and request Solar to index that particular data. I hope that helps. If you benefited from this tutorial, please press like. And if you want to get more updates on Solar and other tutorials in the Tech, tech Tutorial channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.